Hey guys, welcome back. We are here with more Shadow of the Colossus. Which is awesomeness in a can. So, let's get started. Um, I did say that, uh... I would meet you on the way there. That was a grammatic incorrection. Which I kind of noticed, even though, well, I, as I said it. So let's walk down these stairs. And as you can see, this game... It does have a map right here. But, I mean, the map's useless. It doesn't really tell you anything. Um, a few things to say, this this game has no, you know, enemies. The only enemies you're going to encounter are the Colossi. Along with that, there are no, uh, shops, there are no potions, there are no people. You are the only person in that, in this place. That you, your horse, and that one, um, lady you're trying to save. So, the way to call your horse, just press X, and you should say arrow. The farther it is, you'll... It'll depend on whether he's going to scream it, say it, or um, or whistle. So now, the way that you're going to want to know where the Colossi is, because it, the map doesn't really tell you, is you're going to pull up your sword. And as the beam, see, as you can see, it's spreading out. But when it becomes more close together, um, and you can also feel the right vibration if you're using a DualShock, um, you can, that's how you know that's the way to the Colossi, by just pulling out your sword in broad daylight. Now if it's dark, that's not going to work, it's not going to necessarily point, you need to have an open area where the sun can be seen. So, most of this game is just traveling, knowing your way to go, and a bit of platforming. But, the game, for all of its time that you don't really fight, it makes up for it with the amazing Colossus fights. The game has, when you fight a Colossus, it's just amazing to see how one person so small can take down such a thing that's so big. And trust me, they're big. It's not even a surprise. Colossus in the dictionary, everybody, everybody, uh, knows that Colossus can be an adjective for very big. So, let's get started. Um, I did try this this recording once, I said before, but I mean, it's it's kind of good that I'm doing it again, because I did not know what I was doing. I, I have beaten this game before, but I had forgotten all the controls. But now, since I remember them, and I practice a bit, I shouldn't have problems. This is, this is also what tripped me up, you can just roll. I completely forgot about that, because I'm playing this on hard mode. In easy mode, they tell you what to do. If you're playing hard mode, they don't tell you what to do. Because, um, hard mode, you have to unlock it after playing easy mode, so... It's not necessarily, like, um, it, like it matters. You, you should already know all the controls by then, because you have to beat the game first. But the game does have, um, a bit of a weird control... You kind of have to, um, it, I mean, it's not that hard to, to use them, it's just that it, it can be a bit hard to, to get used to them. Because, I mean, it, it's not that hard, but since I'm playing it on hard mode, it is kind of a, a bother. But I, I, I got the controls down now, so anyways, that is our first losses. Can you see that thing? That thing is, like, huge. Even if it was, like, far away, I can't squish its head with my fingers. So that's crazy. But to find its weak point, you want to shine light at it, basically. So, shine light at his arm, and and as you can see, um, you might not be able to see it from here, but there is a little mark on his arm now, proving that that is his weak point. So, he's basically just ignoring us, doesn't give a shit. But because of that, we're gonna run up his ass. Come on over here, I'm gonna run up your ass, son. Now he's turning around, which is scary. Which means he saw us. Let's go. Oh shit. I thought he was gonna step on me. Anyways, um, basically what we have to do is we have to get up to his arm. But we can't really get up to his arm, because we can't. So, if, if you can see that little blue mark, you might not be able to, because it's like, there's a bunch of dark trying it. There, you, you can see now. Um, gonna have to stab it twice, and then he'll fall down. He should fall down like that. 
and then we can now run up his legs and up his ass. Told you, it was gonna run up his ass. I'm kidding, man. Should have took me more seriously. I would have stabbed his ass, but that'd be a waste of time. Just stabbing doesn't really do much damage. See, there's a little mark. You can see it better now. See, stabbing doesn't really do much. Although, um, when you stab, they do make movements. So, if you want to use that to your advantage or not, that's up to you. So, we're here now at his weak points. We're going to stab it for massive damage. It's very effective. So, stab him once more, this prickle dick. Come on. Stab you once more. So, um, I don't know if I explained it yet, but at the very bottom right, you can see a pink circle. No, that's not just for girls. That determines how much strength you have yet. So, the smaller that circle gets, the less energy you have. Or strength, whatever you want to call it. And if it goes to zero, um, the main character is going to automatically run out of energy, and he's going to have to, uh, fall off automatically and as you can see I'm running out of energy and I automatically fell down and lost a bit of HP but it's nothing too bad so as you run around you should be able to regain your strength and we can run up his ass again um also I didn't mention it there is another weapon it's I think it's up where is it oh there it is so we do have the bow and arrow. Basically, the bow and arrow is um, doesn't have much use for this boss, but the bow and arrow does have uh, its uses. So we're at seven minutes. We're doing quite a, doing quite a bit faster than my first recording. Stab his legs a few more times. Make him fall. Make sure to hold on as he does that. There we go. Now we can run up his ass again, tear up your ways. Jesus, man. Stop shaking your booty. For fucking Colossus, you sure shake your ass a lot. See, 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 this is what I'm talking about. Dude, you're fucking Colossus. You're like 50 feet tall. You don't have the need to be shaking your ass all around. Strutting that ass. You don't gotta be strutting that ass. Okay, um, enough of that. Now we're at the bottom, we can jump back onto his arm and stab him for more damage. There goes another stab. We can stab him once more, I think. I don't think we can stab him anymore. Nope. So you can see that mark has gone, meaning if I stab him now, it's not going to do that much damage. See, it barely does damage now. Actually, it's close to very not. To... Actually, I'm gonna go up here and said I was gonna try and jump off his arm, but there's no real point in that if I can just. Uh... Oh shit, I'm running out of energy. Right. Come on, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Oh shit. Get, get up, get up. Jesus. Oh, there we go. We fell over, but we got good. So, now we have to find his second weak point. Yep, they have more than one weak point, guys. Meaning, after you start doing damage to one weak point, eventually, you're gonna have to find the second weak point and do more damage there. So, it just turns out that his second weak point is... his head. Isn't that original? But, if we stab his head do quite a bit of damage. I'm pretty sure the closer you are to the very center, you do more damage. Don't quote me on that. I don't really know. But we're about to take this guy down. Few more hits, and he should be crying like a baby. Come on. One more hit, and this guy is going downtown with his black-ass blood. And there we go. Spitting black blood out of his head. That looks pretty disgusting. But... We took him down, and now he's going to fall. Bleeding like shit. And as you can see, we're still on his head right over there. You can kind of see me. 
But now we're done, and oh shit, he turned. Like, really dark. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, apparently we're dead. That sucks. Balls. Crap. This is the game over screen, I assume. Oh, what's this? Cinematic quality? Would you like to save? No, I don't want to save. Yes, continue the game. Saving. Because if something goes wrong with my recording, I'm going to have to do it all over again, which sucks. Okay, so we're back at the altar. Dead, as you can see, but there's some guy standing next to us. What does he want? I don't know. But either way... We defeated the Colossus, and it appears that we are now waking up. Which is good, which is good. As you can see. And now we walk up to our girlfriend, I presume. Which actually ends up to me, her mother. No, she's not her mother. I'm not going to make more Nintendo Capri Sun references. If you don't know um, the reference, it's basically, it, it's not a direct reference, it's somewhat of a reference to Um, is this okay, mommy? So, it's not necessarily like I'm saying the entire word. But I guess it just did, which makes me a reference maker. Socks, oh. It's so hard not to make references. But either way, we did this guy's deed, and the idol has now fallen, which is good. And now he's going to tell us our next foe. Awesome sauce. Who's our next foe? In the seaside cave, it moves slowly. Okay. And now he's going to show us the idol, but um, doesn't it kind of look like a monkey? Pretty sure monkeys are not slow. Monkeys are quite the fast. Whatever, I'm not going to judge you and your stupid decisions. Because if we do this, you are going to bring back the life of that girl, and that is good to us. But, um, it appears we're reaching up 13 minutes, and I don't think I'm going to really make it that far in 3 minutes or so. Well, we're actually reaching up 13 minutes now. So, whatever, it's time to, um, end the recording and get on with more Let's Play at another date. So, I'll see you guys next time in part 3 of Let's Play The Shadow of the Colossus, where we go and take down the second Colossus. See ya.